Hello class, this is Classwork 10.6, Simple versus Compound Interest. You may have heard the expression, money does not grow on trees. However, money does, in a sense, grow in a savings account. Today we will investigate two ways to invest money, simple interest and compound interest. Kristen's grandparents have $1,000 that they would like to invest to help her pay for college. They have two investment options. One is bonds, which pays 8% simple interest or a credit union account which pays 8% compounded annually? Will the option they choose make a difference in the amount of money they earn? Examine these two situations below. Question 1. Bonds with simple interest. If Kristen's grandparents invest, your, uh, invest in bonds, their $1,000 would grow as shown in the table. How does the value of the bond after the first year was determined? Be prepared to share your ideas with the class. Okay, so we go from $1,000 to $1,080. How can we get from this one to that one? And there's two different ways we can do this. So we could think of this as a linear pattern, and we could go from here to here, and that would be to add $80. Okay, and if it's linear, it should follow that pattern the entire way. Um, but there's another way we could think of it, and we could think of it if it's exponential. If it's exponential, we've got to divide this number divided by that number. So in my calculator, I'm going to put 1,080 divided by 1,000, and I get 1 1.08. So I would be multiplying by 1.08. So we have to figure out which one of these is correct. Okay? But it is one of those. So question B, how was the value of the bond after the second year determined? That means that it should have the same pattern here. So if I add 80 to this number, do I get that? Yes, I do. So 1,080 plus 80 is 1,160. If I multiply this number, 1,080, times my 1.08, let's see if that works. So 1,080 times 1.08. Okay, that is not the same number, so that doesn't work. That means my pattern is not going to be multiplied, and I'm going to be adding 80 each time. So how was the value of the bonds after the second year determined? Um, add 80. $80. Use your observations from part A and B to complete the table. So I now know my pattern for each of these is to add 80. So 1160 plus 80 is going to give me $1,240. If I add 80 again, I get 1000 Three hundred and twenty dollars. All right. Question D: How much money has the value of the bonds increased over the four years? So, if we started at one thousand and we increased all the way to one thousand three hundred and twenty, how much do we increase by? Uh, if you can do that in your head, awesome. If not, we'll take the calculator. So, I went from one thousand three hundred and twenty. I originally started at 1000 so I increased by $320. And last question, what is the percent of increase over the four years? So to answer that question, we want to take um, the amount that it went into over the four years, which is the 1000 320 and divide that by 1000 so we're not subtracting it this time we are dividing so 1320 divided by 1000 and I get 1.32 and so we need to change this decimal into a percent because they want the percent increase so I've got to move my decimal this time two spots backwards so that equals 132%. So I went from 100% to 
to 132%. So I'm going to subtract those just so I can total that. And that's going to equal 32% increase. Okay. Or if you remember from yesterday, it's just the number behind the decimal. Okay, so that 32% there. Um, so once again, I'll go over it, 1.32. I move my decimal two places over, which gives me 132%. I subtract that from 100 because that's what I started with. And so that means I increased by 32% because that's what I'm left with. Um, and once again, it is just the number behind the decimal here. 1.32.